Hey YouTube, Satoshi Matrix here yet again bringing you another video. In this installment of the Controller Chronicles, I'll be bringing you one of the more unusual controllers for the Xbox, but I think this is one of the more um, interesting controllers as well. This is the Rare Hip Gear Screen Pad Controller. That's right, this is a controller that has a built-in LCD screen as well as stereo speakers. So this thing boasts uh, a 2.6 inch um, high resolution, high quality TFT screen, just like the Game Boy Advance. But what's different about the Game Boy Advance screen is the Game Boy Advance screen was um, not backlit until the Game Boy Advance 2.0. And yeah, the Game Boy Advance has a 2.9 inch screen, and this has a 2.6 inch screen, so it's a little bit smaller. But nevertheless, this screen is actually really well, really high quality um, for what you're getting. Um, as well, the controller itself is built with very high quality parts. This, if there's, although this is a third party controller, uh, it, it's actually one of the better controllers out there. Um, the control sticks feel nice, the D-pad is excellent on it, um, the, the sticks feel good, the buttons feel good, it's it's an all-around all good controller. Um, but yeah, um, to power this thing, you will need a 12-volt um, a power supply it comes with. Uh, the 12-volt power supply is likely needed because the 5 volts of the Xbox provides the controller is not enough to power the controller the screen and the speakers all at the same time so it does need an external adapter which sucks but you know it's it's acceptable because you know considering what you're getting for this so let's power this on and uh, show you what it looks like so first things first is to turn the LCD on then power on the Xbox I hope this is gonna show up It does have adjustments here, so I can change it's the brightness, the volume, um, this is the color, brightness, and contrast. So let's put in a game. The game I'm going to throw in is Serious Sam. camera is probably not uh, picking this up very well, but in, in reality, this is a very bright and vibrant screen um, that just looks excellent on, on this little thing, you know, considering you're getting no TV. And as you can hear, the volume on it is quite loud, and it's not even at maximum. There's maximum. Just go for this. Just try and adjust that so it's best for YouTube. I don't know, probably about there. It's a guess. So yeah, this is hard to control, you know, just moving the sticks around, playing, and showing you guys what the game looks like on this LCD steam, uh, screen. As well, I should say that um, although this is, works for the Xbox, with the Mayflash um, 
PS2 or Xbox 2 PS2 adapter that I showed you in a previous video, you can work this on a PS2. Um, the video quality uh, is a little bit less because it would come out through this dongle here, which is a male and female um, composite to um, this screen adapter. So this is something that's a little bit neat. So I just want to demo this um, just real quick before I let you guys go. So first turn off the Xbox. Now unplug it from the back. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these composite inputs. Look at that. And let's just plug this in. Red into red. White into white. And yellow. It's hard to do one-handed. There we finally go. Sorry that took so long. Alright, so that's plugged in. Now, let's go to my NES. Mega Man 2 is in there. Click it on. And go to the LCD screen. Oops, I pressed, I pressed password. Let's go back out. this is going to turn out on YouTube. Um, no matter how it looks, in reality, again, this is very bright and vibrant. This is a great LCD screen. Um, it is very small, but it is very great. Um, I should also mention that on the side of the screen, right there, they have um, a headphone jack. The headphone jack just works perfectly. It's brilliant on this thing. Um, here and right here is an adjustable screen thing where you can adjust the angle of the LCD that you want. Um, the speakers are perfect. They're, they're loud, they're vibrant. Um, this thing just is a beautiful controller. Um, as to actually find one of these today, good luck because it wasn't a very successful controller. Um, it was very expensive when it first came out and in recent years I've seen them go on eBay for 80 or 90 dollars each. Um, I didn't pay that, but um, if you find one of these if, for less than that, I definitely jump on it because it's a very high quality controller. Um, they, like I should say, they should all, they also made them for the GameCube and PS2 as well. Um, this happens to be the Xbox version. I picked up the Xbox version because I can use the Xbox version on um, on the PS2 as well, and um, possibly the GameCube too by using um, the Xbox um, to to PS2 adapter and then using a PS2 controller, um, a PS2 adapter to GameCube. 
So it's a little bit convoluted, but with this one controller and adapters, you can use um, this screen on um, multiple systems. So that'll be it for now. So thanks for watching.